when you see that, you know what's getting ready to happen. Hi, boys and girls. It's the creator of Board with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. And I went to a movie the other day requested by one of my lovies to go and see and I had the time of my life and guess what she said you have to read a book you have to read a book about this so after I put away my sparkly sneakers that's what I wore to the concert slash movie I got back I got this out I got this out I got this out I got this out and I said, you know what? I am going to read this to you because boys and girls, Bored with Miss Reynolds loves, loves, love connecting with you. And if connecting with you means that I have to go all the way back to 1989 when I graduated from high school, then that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it all the way back, but we're going to read all about you know who. Let's go. All right. Whew. Boys and girls, are you in a singing or a dancing mood? Because when I went to the movie slash concert, that's the mood that it put me in. The book is called The Little Golden Biography, Taylor Swift, and it's written by Wendy Lagi, Lagia, illustrated by Elisa Shavari. <sighs> Taylor Alyssa, ooh, Taylor Allison Swift was born on December 13th, 1989, in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Her parents named her after James Taylor, a famous musician. A lot of love surrounded Taylor and her little brother, Austin. The Swifts did many activities as a family. They spent time reading books. Oh, I love it. Visiting new places and having fun outside. Christmas was one of Taylor's favorite holidays. And what made the holiday season even more exciting was that her family lived on a Christmas tree farm. Everyone pitched in at Christmas time. Taylor's dad mowed the fields on his tractor. Taylor's job, picking praying mantis egg pods off the trees. The Swifts didn't want anyone to get a buggy surprise on Christmas morning. I really love Christmas. I wish it was all year round. As a kid, Taylor tried lots of different things. She rode horses, she acted in plays, she wrote poetry, but when she learned how to play the guitar, she knew she had found her passion. When Taylor has a goal, nothing stops her. She was a big fan of country superstars Faith Hill and Shania Twain, and she discovered that both music musicians had started their careers in Nashville, Tennessee. That was all 10-year-old Taylor needed to know. She asked her parents to take her to Nashville. 
She asked them every day. And finally, when she was 11, it happened. Her mom took Taylor and Austin there for spring break. They drove up and down Music Row, an area with country music, recording studios, and businesses. While Taylor's mom and brother waited in the car, Taylor ran into the offices of various recording labels and handed out CDs she made of her music. Taylor performed anywhere that would have her, including fairs, festivals, and ball games. But sometimes following dreams means doing things other people don't understand. Girls at school were mean to Taylor. Her classmates thought it was weird to like country music so much. This made Taylor sad, but it didn't stop her from doing what she loved. When Taylor was 13, something incredible happened. RCA Records wanted to work with her. Taylor and her family said goodbye to Pennsylvania and moved to Nashville. Her dream of becoming a country music star was about to come true. For Taylor, writing songs was just as important as singing them, but because she was young, the, rec the record company wanted her to sing other people's songs, and they thought she should wait until she was older before she made her own album. Taylor didn't agree. One night, Taylor performed at Nashville's Bluebird Cafe. She sang some of her own songs and some songs from other singers. She caught the eye of music executive in the crowd who was forming a new record label. Guess who he signed up to make an album? Taylor Swift. Taylor's debut album, Taylor Swift, came out when she was just 16. She was excited every time she heard her songs on the radio. Her next album, Fearless, was the top selling record of the year and made Taylor a huge star. Taylor was fearless. When she went on her first concert tour, she took the music world by storm. When she went on her first concert tour, she took the music world by storm. Kind of like the storm I saw on the big screen, on the movie, Ugh, just a few hours. One of Taylor's biggest strengths is storytelling. Like Miss Reynolds, I do storytelling magic on board with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day, where I bring all of the books and the stories that I read to life based on what I'm wearing, how I'm acting, how I'm dancing, and how I'm performing. I become the book at board. One of Taylor's biggest strengths is storytelling. I hear you, Taylor, and I love that about us. Her songs tell stories that many people can relate to. Taylor wrote all of the songs on her third album, Speak Now. Listening to a Taylor Swift album is like hearing her diary being sung out loud. Oh. Let's do that. Many of Taylor's songs are inspired by her life, like The Best Day, a song about growing up in a loving family and having a supportive mom. Taylor and her mom, Andrea, are very close. They talk about everything. No one has known 
Taylor longer or knows her better than her mom. Trying new things and taking risks is important to Taylor. Even though country music was her first love, she took a big chance and recorded a pop album called 1989. The year I graduated from high school. There it is, class of 1989. And it was the best-selling album of the year. Taylor never lets anything hold her back from creating music she loves. Taylor also loves sharing things with her fans. They know that her lucky number is 13. She often hides clues and symbols in her music and videos. For a few of her albums, she surprised special groups of fans by inviting them to secret parties to listen to the album before anyone else. They got to hang out at her house, meet her family, and even bake cookies together. Oh. When Taylor likes something, she tells everyone about it. One thing she really likes are cats. Taylor has a reputation for speaking out against racial injustice and for encouraging people to vote. She stands up for other artists and herself, even when it's tough. She's not just a superstar, she's a trailblazer. Taylor's hard work has paid off. Her albums have sold millions of copies. She has won multiple Grammys. She's traveled around the world and made people happy with her music. What will she do next? When you're Taylor Swift, the sky is the limit. And that is the end, boys and girls, of Taylor Swift, The Little Golden Book Biography. Boys and girls, it is Bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. I don't own the rights to this book that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is, I love quite a few of Taylor Swift's songs. I was not what you would call a Swifty or one of these fans that follows her around and goes to all of her concerts. The first time I've ever seen her perform is when I went to the movie that just came out. That's when I sat there in the seats and watched her perform in the movie for several, several hours, the Eras tour. And I have to say, I completely understand why so many people love her. I danced in my seat. I wiggled in my seat. I stood up and I moved around and I felt wonderful. And I just could not believe that all this time, this is what she's been doing. And because of the little girls in my life, this is how I'm finding out by seeing the movie. So they suggested I read this book to you and I absolutely agreed. I also got a couple of neat things from my friends to share with you. One of them is this little ditty to go with this. I think they go very well together. And these two songbooks. This one was just re-released. And this one, you know, you've seen them all before. And I am so glad that I have now have the opportunity to learn so much more about Taylor Swift. And I wanna say thank you to my sweet, sweet, sweet little friend that said to me, Miss Reynolds, Miss Reynolds, you have to read her book. You have to read her book. If you do nothing else in the next coming weeks, you have to read her book. And guess what? I read her book and you were absolutely right and I thank you for it. So let's twirl our sparkly, glittery, all kinds of friendship ring love out of here because these actually came in handy. My daughter mails me these 
from college ever since she went to college four years ago. And my little friend said, you know what? Taylor Swift is all about the friendship bracelets. So these are my friendship bracelets. These are my daughter and mommy bracelets that my daughter sends to me every chance she gets. That's my girl. She also, by the way, is somewhat like Taylor Swift. She's very, very determined. She's very, very talented. She's very, very hardworking. She's very, very loving. And talk about sparkly. I'm not sure what color her hair is this week or what she's wearing or how she's feeling. But one thing I know for sure one thing I know for sure, just like the back of this book. When you're Taylor Swift, the sky is the limit. And what will she do next? When you're bored with Miss Reynolds, Debbie Reynolds' daughter, Jade, what will you do next, Jade? The sky is the limit. And mommy is proud of you, as I am to have read this book all about Taylor Swift. Let's do it. We have to twirl, 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 twirl. Our Taylor Swift love and board with Miss Reynolds and 1989 graduate out of here. See you later. Bye.